just for the sake of being able to play out all of our minions. Lots of stuff going off there. Ooh. Hello, Snugglebugs. Welcome to today's Hearthstone video. Coming at you with another, uh, in my opinion, 2022 classic with the Mech Mage. I think this deck actually is underrated. Uh, performs really well still in the meta. And so I wanted to bring it out and show people that just because it's, uh, you know, not a deck from this year doesn't mean it can't compete. Uh, I'm going to coin out the Security Automaton um, to get it out since I have a few different two drops to start buffing that up to hopefully compete with our opponent's totems that we see them getting out here. Unfortunately, we do not have the best way to compete. Now, obviously, I'd like to play my other Security Automaton um, just to get them both going, but they're going to get a big, wide board. So I'm kind of thinking we just need to play our Taunt hit the Stereo Totem to try to get it killed over the next turn or two um, so they can stop getting these buffs. We also have our two C4 Gateways, but no Mecha Sharks do, 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 to um, really take advantage of, of the C4 Gateways. Maybe I'll draw one or two of them off of them, though. Definitely playing against a obviously aggressive opponent, but here we go. So we could C4 Gateway into, like, Frequency Oscillator Security Automaton. Yeah, let's do that. Frequency Oscillator. We could actually just play the other Annoyotron. Hmm. To prevent this from this one from dying. Yeah. Value trade here. Now, unless they get out their schooling, um, again, generally speaking, Totem Shaman doesn't have like AoE damage, so keeping my minions at one health should not be a problem. So we're just trying to control the board and then take them out um, as we can. Um, I'm going to C4 Gateway again. Observe, analyze, engage, I'm pretty sure is what they say. <laughs> Frequency Oscillator just for the sake of being able to play out all of our minions. Lots of stuff going off there. Ooh. I mean, I know we don't have that many minions right now, so I think I'm actually going to go with Zilliax for next turn. Keep the taunt. Smack him in the face. Boom. <laughs> this deck's moving really fast. It's only turn four. Um, putting the aggressive Totem Shaman kind of away pretty quickly and that's kind of what this deck can actually do sometimes right so we'll just unity precision perfection smack them in the face for a nice turn five lethal very aggressive um if this is the type of deck you'd like to see subscribe to stay notified of when we come out with more decks let me know in the comments down below what those might be that you want to see and let's go hop into another game okay so this time it looks like we're against another mage Get rid of this any storm coil. We have ourselves a nice little one, two, three play. Now, this might not be as aggressive as the play that we had against the last matchup, uh, the Totem Shaman, just because we don't have our gateways to discount all of our minions, or we didn't we didn't get our um, frequency oscillators to discount our minions. But that's okay. We'll play the Security Automaton, hope that they don't have a, a nice, easy, uh, cheap answer to it, and then maybe even Bronze Gatekeeper onto the Click Clocker. Although I am not entirely sure if... Oh, what would they have taken? Probably Arcade Intellect or the Sunwell? Yeah. Um, so let's Security Automaton. Try to keep that alive. Again, I actually admit I haven't played enough of this to understand if Magnetic rocks the security automaton so we're going to be figuring that out um, together here and i will be putting it on the divine shield minion just to help keep that up did it it does not good to know good to know likely means it wouldn't rock the mecha shark either uh so again let me know in the comments down below if i'm wrong asking for a lot i i get it but <laughs> For, for science sake, for, for all of those who want to give this deck a try. Um, one of the upsides to, to this deck, again, is where a lot of the stuff came out last year. Uh, not all of it. Or it's in the core set. It should also be pretty uh, cheap and budget-friendly to make, which I know um, myself, until I started making YouTube videos free-to-play, that was always a huge deciding factor in decks that I would like. 
Okay, no, that, that does hurt a little bit. Just because I never got to buff it up. But that's overall okay. Let's seafloor gateway into Amalgam of the Deep to get some value. I don't really have any one cost things, and next turn we're gonna have enough for Zuliac, so I'll take the Pelican Diver. I'm just gonna keep going face. 4 7 with Taunt uh, already on turn 4. The amount of pressure I can put on with this and hope that, you know, um, if they don't kill it, to. Mm, wonder what their plan here is. I was gonna say we can Zuliac one of these two. I know I don't need the lifesteal, but it'll give me more damage to face, more than likely, is where I'm gonna be. The face of the place, as they say. Okay. So this one's gonna go down. They're using a lot of their resources to get rid of it. Another cosmic keyboard. I will, like I said, Zilliax. Just that way we can hit them in the face. Use our Pelican Diver as a one mana answer to something they have next turn. Plus when it trades uh, or they kill, if they manage to take out our Amalgam of the Deep, we'll have our infused Frozen Touch, which just like all mages is effectively an over the top, potentially six damage burst. All right, so they, they did manage to clear that, which is fine. Obviously not ideal, but they've been spending almost their entire turns to do this. I will Frozen Touch their face, and at this point, I am not going to use it again. I'm not quite in spot uh, to do that. But I will play a Noyotron, ping, and I will trade here just to start reinfusing this, and the odds are they would have just pinged mine, so I may as well get the value out of it. Now, if this doesn't die, if they take the turn to try to do something, we can just war gear it. Oh, no, they are. Oh, it's infused. Well, I guess they're getting a ton off these keyboards. <laughs> but we can just now um, play our Gaia. It's only going to get one proc to do the one damage to face. But again, more minions that die, we have the six damage burst if need be. Oh, and I just realized, yeah, they got another minion. So we now get to see sort of the longevity that this deck can also put continuous pressure uh, on your opponent. Um, and honestly, with the Gorilla Bots, with all the Discovers as well, it can like keep going, um, which is, I think, another thing that people forget sometimes with Night Mage. It can be super aggressive, as we saw in the first game, but it can also stay alive and dominate and with even Frozen Touch, because it summons so many minions, like the amount of times you can possibly cast Frozen Touch is also fantastic. Now, they're managing to actually stave through this quite well, in my opinion. Um, we will Frozen Touch, just to keep that pressure going. And then Security Automaton, a Gorilla Bot for a Discover. And we will take the Mecha Shark to also potentially get a little bit of damage. Solid Alibi is huge for them to burn. Huge. Honestly, they are down to so much health that unless they start gaining a bunch of armor... Um, once they infuse this frozen touch, we have the over the top, over the top damage anyway. Star power. Hey, cleared my board, but it infused my frozen touch. I know I won't be able to draw two cheap minions, but part of me wants to just win with the mecha shark instead. But it's impossible for me to draw two. I, if I drew a minion with one. Uh, no, they haven't. Yeah. I was going to say, they knew it. They knew the writing was on the wall. Uh, like I said, this deck, still amazing. Still dominates, I think. I don't maybe dominate, maybe too strong. Still does extraordinarily well in the meta today. Cheap to make, fast games, generally speaking. Good climbing deck overall. I still enjoy having, I still enjoy bringing it back once in a while. Let me know if you enjoyed watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.